lady beetles everywhere. Oh, is he on you? Yeah, can you get him off, please? I can't see him properly. Oh! <laughs> So bear with me today, it's very windy <laughs> uh, down on the beach. So we've gone across the border, we're now in South Australia traveling along and we stopped into Carpenter Rocks. That Carpenter Rocks is a really cool boat in the water, which I've seen on Instagram a couple of times. I thought, oh yeah, we're heading there. But uh, as good as the sunset might look today, we're kind of a couple of days behind plan. We had to stop and service the van. We had a heap of work to do. Work's just been crazy this week for us. So missed out on a couple of days on where we wanted to make sure we were for this weekend coming. So rather than hanging around at Carpenter Rocks today, we've decided to keep on going through. But I'm here now and I thought, what a great opportunity to get out and take a photo anyway. And I know this isn't what I usually look like. I look like something in golden light. And I got a, had a cold sore. Uh, if you're watching this video, that means the cold sore doesn't look that bad anymore. So yeah, we've already gone for a walk down to the Carpenter Rock uh, shipwreck. I think it's called the Pisces Star. Now Haley's hanging out of the van, she's got a bit more work to do. So I thought I'm gonna head down and see if I can take a photo, despite the fact that it's the middle of the day. In case you wanted to know what it looks like with my tripod, I keep it tucked in my belt. <laughs> Fuck it, mate. Oh, that's pretty cold. The water here just feels so much colder as I'm getting wet. There's lady beetles everywhere, I don't understand. But yeah, so even though it's the middle of the day, the sun is quite harsh, there is some cool high clouds. I really think that this shipwreck here is gonna make a really nice black and white long exposure. Now, I have been trialing a few things lately, which is stacking my filters. So I have a 10 stop and I have a 6 stop as well. And uh, stacking them is giving me some good results. I haven't edited all of them fully yet, so hopefully whatever I capture here will still be good. But I'm here, I may as well try it. It's a beautiful hot day. Water's a bit cold, but at least the sun is out. Coming up on the shipwreck now. What I'm doing now is just putting on the polarizer. Uh, I'm further back from the shipwreck that I would like to be because I want to do a really long exposure, maybe you know five, ten minutes exposure. I need to make sure that I'm away from the breaking waves because when the waves come up to the bottom of the tripod uh, and runs past, it sinks in the sand a little bit. So I've got to make sure that I'm far back enough that waves won't inhibit it too much so then the tripod won't move during that long exposure. So what I'm gonna do is put the circular polarizer on and then do my metering. And that's gonna let me know how many filters I need to put on with the settings that I want to achieve as well. So chances are it's gonna be F16, ISO 100, once I get this on. If anyone wants to know why it takes me so long to get this on, is I dropped this lens. Yeah, it, did, it didn't work out too good for the lens. Like, it seems all right, but just getting these rings on the front, always such a pain now, so these things happen. See, this is an example of this wave here, and it just moves it. Now, oh shit. Turns out I didn't put my bag far up, up, the, up the hill. And then try and get this photo before any more waves come in and ruin the day. So the composition is pretty simple. What I'm trying to do is keep the boat below the horizon line with enough separation that when it does all blur out for the long exposure, the boat's gonna be a nice contrasting feature. So my current shutter speed is 1 60th of a second. And to achieve something in five minutes, let me just have a look at this, photo pills. Aha. 
Isn't that crazy? So when I have the 10 style filter on, it'll go from a 60 of a second to 17 seconds, right? But then if I go to 16 stops, which is the two filters stacked, 18 and a half minutes. It's crazy jump. So I was sitting there for a little bit, I mean, arguing about what I was gonna do with the shutter speed and 18 minutes was just gonna be too long for a couple of reasons. 18 minutes is too long because it takes me 20 minutes to realize what the photo is gonna look like, for one. And the other thing is the chances of the tide coming in too much uh, and ruining the photo was just too high. So what I've done is I've reevaluated my f-stop and I've uh, stopped down to 10 instead of 16 where I was. And that's changed that 20 minute shutter time down to eight minutes, which is much more realistic of what I wanted to achieve as well. So a couple of things to think of when you do this type of photography is, is your subject uh, gonna stand out enough? Hopefully mine will. Um, the other thing is, is a tripod gonna shake? Hopefully I've taken care of that. And the other one you wanna consider is light leaking. Now light leaking was a concept that Oh no, we've got a wave, we've got a wave. All right, I don't think it moved too much. But yeah, light leaking is when light comes through the back of the eyepiece. Now, if you purchase, I don't know about any other brand because I've never owned anything else, but a Canon camera comes with a little rubber piece on the neck strap. That's actually so you can pull your viewfinder off where your eye sits on the viewfinder and you can slip this little uh, rubber piece on and that will stop light coming in through the viewfinder. So I've just done that as well. So now there's pretty much nothing to do than just wait around and wait for another five minutes to go past. Oh, more waves. Ooh, not good. These things happen. We'll see how the photo comes out. There's lady beetles everywhere. They're all over me. If anyone knows why there's so many lady beetles at Carpenter Rocks, can you please let me know? This is crazy. So yeah, just in case you missed it or I need to talk through it again, I'm in bold mode, I'm at ISO 100, F10, far out, we've got a wave coming in. Oh, it might fall short. Oh no, it hit it, it hit it. With any luck, that won't be enough to, to make it blur. But yeah, where was I? Oh yeah, bold mode, F10, ISO 100, so I've got the polarizer on about half. I've got the 10 stop filter stacked closest and then the six stop. I've taken off my eyepiece and put on the little block out piece. I've got my shutter release cable on, focusing on the shipwreck itself. That's gonna be the main interest. Everything else is gonna be a big blur. And I've also got the tripod up on discs. Let's see how it looks. I guess that's it. I got the photo that I wanted. I mean, what I was aiming for here was just a nice, simple black and white image. And um, I think it's gonna edit out quite nicely. Obviously, you've seen it, so hopefully it's good. <laughs> Let me know. Um, but yeah, it's, it's a pretty cool shipwreck. It would be better at low tide. So if you do come down here, um, definitely come at the lower, lower tides. It'll just give you more freedom to get closer to it and shoot longer exposures. But yeah, that looked pretty good. So now it's time to pack up and head back to the car and we're gonna keep traveling along, along the South Australian coast, so. Should be good. Oh man, that's heaps bad. No use whinging about it here. I'll whinge about it back of the van. That's terrible. I swear, Carpenter Rocks is out to eat me. They got bugs here that are just mammoth in size. The sea wants to chew me up. There's lady beetles everywhere. I reckon the lady beetles are scouts. Oh, sand everywhere. This is gonna suck. <laughs> anyway, there's nothing I can do about it. So I may as well just shut up. See, usually things like the bag getting 
say anyone, I wouldn't bother me. Not a problem. These things happen, you just deal with them. But I live in a van. Do you know how it is to clean stuff in a van? But yeah, guys, look, I hope you enjoyed the video. It's something a little bit different, something that, uh, you know, wasn't sunrise or sunset. And I don't do a lot of black and white images anymore. I'm not sure, I've just sort of gone off it a little bit. And while I could have taken some different photos there, at the wreck, I knew exactly what I wanted to work on personally, and that was simple, long exposure, black and white. So, and that's what I worked on. You know, the usual jazz. There's a link to the Instagrams, I think here or here. Go check it out, because that's where I'll post the image. But yeah, we're now officially out of the Great Ocean Road series, and we're gonna start the South Australia series. Keeping it general, calling it South Australia, because I don't know where we're gonna go or what's gonna happen. But make sure you stay tuned. Plenty of cool locations coming up. We're now rushing our way, not rushing, but we're heading our way over to Perth. Uh, so that should be a lot of fun. So yeah, guys, cheers. Thanks for watching. And until next time, I'll catch you later. Wanna see what happened to me? Look at it. On. Last one. Need it. Let's ride.